On the morning of May 25, 2020, BNSF made use of a 36-axle Schnabel car to transport a 700-ton nuclear reactor pressure vessel from the decommissioned San Onofre nuclear plant to a location in Utah. Emert International was in charge of the entire movement. The special train would be handed over to the UP for the trip after Barstow to Las Vegas. The remainder of the trip would be over highway to the Clive, Utah disposal site. This Schnabel car, having been built in 1980, was also on its final assignment with this move. Once it arrived in Las Vegas and the vessel was unloaded, the nearly 800,000 pound car will be scrapped. Due to clearance issues, Metrolink and Amtrak schedules were disrupted as clearance was minimal at best. To confound matters further, the speed of this train was limited to no faster than 15 miles per hour. The train was seen coming into the city of Orange on Metrolink's Orange Sub. Metrolink's Orange Station is just ahead. Since a fence has been placed between the two main tracks, the train was reduced to walking speed. The operator in the Schnabel car had the ability to shift the load about three feet either to the left or to the right in order to increase clearance in tight spots. Two cabooses and two flats used as buffer cars completed the train. Further north, now along the Olive Sub, rail fans jockeyed into position as this heavy train carefully transported its special load through town. A high rail vehicle was seen running ahead of the train looking for and relaying by radio potential clearance issues to the crew. Railroad police were also on hand to ensure the safety of everybody involved. We're half a mile from Atwood. The first car behind the engines carried spare parts to keep the Schnabel car functioning properly. Around the curve, Metrolink's Olive Sub met up with the BNSF San Bernardino Sub. The train paused here for a few before continuing on.
Now entering BNSF rails, the Schnabel train headed east. No other trains were allowed to pass this train while it was moving. Near Esperanza, the special continued east. Deeper in the Santa Ana Canyon, the thick row of trees helped to hide the many homes that have been built in this area, which started in the late 1980s. The Schnabel car's construction was designed to more evenly distribute the enormous weight of the cargo across all 36 axles. In the case of today's movement, each axle was carrying perhaps a little over 20 tons. Our last run by was just east of Prado Dam. Both tracks were kept clear of other trains.
The special continued on towards San Bernardino. The move over Cajon Pass and to Barstow was unfortunately made after dark. Thanks for joining us today.